NASCAR takes the battle to America's heartland, Kansas Speedway, located in Kansas City, Kansas, for the running of the Go Bowling 400. Hey there guys, Mikey here, and the NASCAR 15 Let's Play continues at a mile and a half track like no other, presenting its own unique challenges. This wide, fast, and free track proves to be no cookie cutter. With bumps that can prove challenging to navigate through, and a slick surface that has drivers going as much sideways as they do forward, you can expect some intense moments here at this oval. We're out here in the Great Plains and it's time to find out who is best in the Midwest. So they're coming down here. Flagman's got his hand on the honorary starter's shoulder. He's looking to feel over. Hold him, hold him. Green flag, boogity, boogity, boogity! Let's go racing, boys! First two laps complete as we come off turn two down the back straightaway. We have dropped back from second place starting spot to the top ten top. as AJ Allmendinger works to our inside. One inside. Ooh, little tight, a little bit tight. We try to side draft down on Michael Annette. Does it work for us? Ryan Blaney trying to make a move to the we inside of Michael fight. Annette, but Michael Annette dives it bound and dives it down into turn one and two. We catch up to Dale Hart Jr. who's slow, but so we can't go anywhere really. We're going to try to make a move. Squeeze in there, three wide. Side drafting on Annette. Oh, Annette's up the track. That's going to get us a little bit loose. We got to chase it. Contact with Clint Boyer and Joey Logano. We're four wide down the front stretch as we come to complete lap four. Ooh, boy, this is going to be tight right here. We work our way to the inside of Vickers. We got a little bit loose. Car right behind you. We are really loose on this track as we're trying to get to the inside lane as we work our way to the inside of Clint Boyer. Big run off turn four. Far outside you. We're trying to crack our way back into the top 20. That could have been catastrophic back there with Michael Annette, but we managed to save that somehow. We dive it to the inside of Casey Kane. Kane Outside, Vickers and us Go making high. contact. The leader is four seconds in front. Clear up top. Somehow we managed to straighten that back out. Are we get to the outside of Trevor Bain right now. Doing an awesome job and today, Jamie buddy. McMurray is slow through the middle as we're gonna go to the inside of Jamie McMurray. Looking inside of Boyer, Truex Jr. closes the door. Clint Boyer, who had the run on the outside. Here comes Greg Biffle. Ooh, Kurt Busch is slow. That's going to get us a little loose. Oh, and Kurt McMurray gets into us. And we save it. Unbelievable. We kept the caution from coming out. McMurray got into us. That's not really his fault. Greg Biffle, I'm sorry, Kurt Busch slowed up. That guy, 
and then I got to the back of him, got him loose, got myself loose. I was already sideways before he even touched me. So it was just one of those like we couldn't we could not check up in time to be able to to get uh, we couldn't no one could check up in time to be able to avoid what happened there. So I can't really put any blame on McMurray. Can't put any blame on myself. It was just a racing deal. And somehow we managed to save that down the back straight away. Uh, kept it from spinning out. We're gonna try to find our line here. Work our way around this A. Work our way around David Gilliland. Really good. Come on, man. We're much faster than these guys back here. Now I will be honest. I'm going to be perfectly honest. Low sides clear. We come off turn four. I'm going to be perfectly honest here. We don't deserve that second place starting spot. That second place starting spot was due to an actual glitch because there was a wreck during qualifying and most of the cars just on the last round slowed down. So I couldn't um, I couldn't beat Matt Kenseth's fastest lap because he had already logged it by then. But I guess when everyone was coming out of the pits, there was a big wreck. And because of that, everyone was kind of driving really slow after that. So that kind of got us a second place starting spot. But to be perfectly honest, this, this, this setup has always been really loose for us. And it probably works really well on like a short run, but for these longer runs, it makes it makes it much more challenging to deal with. We're trying to work our way around Mount Ryan Newman. Worked his way to the inside. So yeah, that second place starting spot was we really should have started probably seventh or eighth at the at the at the most. Uh, Kansas is one of those tracks, man. It's just, it's hard. It's a tough track to get around. It's slippery. Um, I don't think any setup you can really have does not give you a loose car. Oh, boy. David Reagan made it close there. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's a setup that can could, could really combat the, the looseness and the slickness of, of Kansas. Uh, if you Keep do, going. if you do know one, I will, I will gladly, right. I will gladly accept that if you put that down in the comments below, or like do a video comment or something, some kind of link or something to it. But yeah, this, I mean, it's always just been, it's always been really loose here. Even in like, in like the last time I raced here, it was really, really loose. Yeah, see, we're kind of sideways. We're, we're, we're sliding. We're sliding around quite a bit. We work our way to the inside of Michael Waltrip. Cole Witt follows us. Okay, we're slowly but surely trying to work our way back into the top 20. We try to get our work our way around Clint Boyer. Working on Casey Mears now. Keeping an eye on the fuel so I know when Keep to pit. Right, all clear, bud. There's Jamie McMurray. McMurray and I had that contact earlier on. Like I said, nobody's fault. Clear right. Okay, working our way clear around down. Regan Smith. Clear up high. So we got a really, really fast car. But once we start getting up to this top 20, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. All right, Mike Lynette slowing down. I'm going to back out of that, let them go, try to sort themselves out. Got on the apron a little bit there, didn't want to do that. Okay, Michael going. Lynette's overtaken on the outside by Trevor Bain. We're going to work to the inside of Lynette. <laughs> I'm glad there's grip down on that apron because... <laughs> A lot of these could have been potential wrecks by now. So we're trying to catch up to Trevor Bain now. McMurray trying to work his way around 
Michael and Nett. Here comes a net charging back on the inside. Annette's coming down pit road. Pit stops are happening already, which kind of makes sense. We're starting to get low on fuel. So pit strategy is be coming into effect. However, I want to try to make it at least a halfway. That, know I can, that way I know I can make it. So we're having a little bit of a tough time trying to catch up Trevor Bain here. They're battling side by side now. That's going to help us. That's going to help Bain catch them. And once Bain catches them, I think I can catch the rest of them because they're battling. All right. Trying to work our way to the inside of Bain. Bain's going to give us the inside lane. Thank you, Trevor. You got this. Nice work, man. Work our way right yeah, around him, trying to catch up to Austin Dillon, who is now in the 20th spot. <laughs> so that car is a little bit slick there. Austin gives us the low lane. I'm not surprised that they're giving us the low lane. The low lane right is clear. very loose. And once the tires are starting to wear, as you can see, our right front starting to wear, or our right sides are wearing. Makes the grip a little bit tougher down there. Makes it hard for it to stick. Tony Stewart's logged the fastest lap of the race. Matt Kenseth has pretty much dominated here at, at Kansas so far. Yellow, yellow. Caution is out. Trouble on the front stretch. Well, let's see what we got here. Oh, Kyle Busch got squeezed into the wall by, by Kyle Larson. Ryan Blaney involved. Ryan Blaney, last week's winner at Talladega, involved in an, in an accident on the front stretch. That took out about three or four cars. Uh, yes, we're going to pit. I'm pretty sure everyone in the top 20 is going to pit right now. <laughs> if they haven't already. Anyone who hasn't pitted is going to pit. You need some fuel. I think we should change those tires yep, out. Yep, we're going to go ahead and uh, take fuel. We're going to All right, let's do this. In and out. We're going to lower the track bar slightly. Slightly, just to make it a little bit tighter. Um, so we're not sliding around so much. Uh, but yeah, we're going to see what we can do here. Try to hopefully not Let's lose to too many list. positions. Hopefully not lose any positions. All right. Here is our, our what was it, my Richard Petty themed paint scheme. Still with the chaos on the front hood. I'm pretty sure you guys saw that in the in the beginning. But yeah, Team Chaos is still on the front hood. Let's see. Matt Kenseth, Jimmy Johnson, Harvick, Stewart, Almarola, Keslowski, Stenhouse, Bush, Earnhardt, and Gordon are the top ten. And let's see where we will restart. Uh, we restart 20th on the outside lane. Okay. I think think we can still make that work. Now, outside lane's not good for us to restart on, but I'd rather restart on the inside. Go, boys. Nice pit. Uh, we're doing great, buddy. That pit stop's gonna make all the difference. Yeah, we're gonna see what we can do here. But yeah, this is my Mother's Day themed car, actually, because my, my grandmother was a big fan of Richard Petty, so as we come down to the green flag, and it's back in the air, we're really racing. Right here. A lot of people spinning their tires, giving the them some side. time to recover. Coming on the high side. The driver in first, two seconds ahead. Okay. Come on, man. Our way around. Oh, snap. Regan. Regan, get off me. Regan, Regan, get off me. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Big wreck. Big wreck. Oh. That was extremely frustrating because Regan was just hanging to our outside. He should not have been out there. There was no room, and he was just kind of hanging on our outside, and it was slowly but surely turning me into the outside Rain wall clear. The road will be open this time. Ugh. no we're we're gonna we're gonna stay out there's no no point there's no point in trying to uh trying to pit get fresh tires we're fine tires are still well in the green and everything but yeah as i was saying that was my mother's day theme scheme but let's see we have kenseth harvick johnson almarola stenhouse kozlowski earnhardt stewart Logano and Bush are the top 10. 
And where will we restart? We restart 30th on the outside lane. So we had a couple of cars payday, like Carl Edwards was one of them. Uh, yeah. Got a lucky dog behind us. As Paul Menard is going to restart to our inside. As we come to the line, there'll be 15 to go. Green flag is back out. We're racing. Okay, the outside lanes seem to have gone a little bit. No, they don't. We're going to wait. All right. Big stack up. Big stack up on the start there. But we make it. Oh, boy. Hang on to it. Hang on to it. We can Smith all over our back bumper. Actually taking the air off our spoiler a little bit. That's all right, Regan. Just got to remember, what goes around comes around is <laughs> when Nard is all over us doing the same thing. There's Casey Beers to the outside. Oh, boy. Now we're going to make this work. Three wide in the middle. Door. We do manage to make that work as we squeeze around Danica Patrick. Clear left side. Come here, Smith. Come here, Regan. Car outside. At your door. Get out of the way. Clear up high. Get out of the way. One outside. <laughs> okay, let's go. We gotta step it up. Clear right side. A little, a little payback to Regan Smith there. Wants to be all over our bumper, so I figure I might as well return the favor. As Jimmy Johnson is now taking the lead away from Matt Kenseth. So Jimmy Johnson leads us as we're coming gap, coming down to 13 to go. Riga Smith is hunting us back now as we're working our way to the inside of Michael Waltrip and Cole inside. Witt. One up top. We're gonna go ahead and get down on the apron. Use that use that whole track there. Working our way outside. to the inside of Jamie McMurray. Ooh, Cole Witt tried to look in the middle there. He thought better. Right oh, right contact between Cole Witt and Regan right Smith. Got one behind you. I'm gonna watch for the dive bomb here by Regan. He doesn't go for it, so. Alright. Now we're starting to work on the position cars now. Coming up on Carl Edwards and Kyle Larson. Okay, Look always the inside of both of them. Ooh, Carl, Carl, Carl! Carl, clear, say he he saves it, but hey, I was there. <laughs> I was there. The leader is six seconds ahead. Six seconds ahead to the leader, Jimmy Johnson. As we're trying to work our way back up into the top twenty. After that unfortunate incident clear we right. had on the restart with Regan Smith. But now he's back there. He's fallen off pace a little bit. He was running his car a little bit too hard, I guess. Used up his stuff too early. We're trying to, uh, tried to get inside of Truex Jr., but he shut the door on us really hard. Come on, work your way to the front. He overtakes Greg Biffle for the 23rd spot. We're trying to work our way there inside of Biffle. He gives us plenty of room. Ten laps to go. Ooh, boy. <laughs> Truex got into the back of Blaney. Blaney was sideways. He's still trying to save it down the back straight away. Blaney's wiggling. I'm going to give him some room and try to get the run on him off of turn four. We do get that run. As we are coming up. Nine laps to go and... Trying to catch up side. to Denny Hamlin. Ooh, boy. <laughs> I went high to avoid that. I thought they were going to both wreck each other. David Reagan and Denny Hamlin. Ooh, Reagan closes the door on Hamlin again. I don't know how many I don't know how many more times Hamlin's going to take that. I'm kind of backing off for a little bit here. <laughs> I don't want to be eight involved. I don't want to be involved in that wreck. So we got eight to go. Oh, he does it again. <laughs> he did it to him again. <laughs> I imagine Hamlin's going to have some words for Reagan after this race. 
Now we're coming, to the, the short laps are coming, so we need to go ahead and start working our way around these guys. Ooh, he got to the inside of Reagan. He makes it three wide through the through the front stretch. He does get around him. Clint Boyer's on the outside. But that all that battling is going to help me catch up to him a lot easier. And I got there. I'm going to work my way to the inside of Reagan. He tries to block, but I'm not going to have any of it. It's time to go. They're coming down to six laps to go. Clint Sights are on Clint Boyer. Clint Boyer can't hold the bottom. He gets loose. Shoves up the track. Sights are now set on Danny Hamlin. Six laps to go. Inside of Hamlin. Ooh, boy. Vickers a little bit skatey through turns one and two as we get around Hamlin. Vickers tries to make a run on the high side. Can't quite get there. It looked like Ryan Newman and possibly Kurt Busch are battling up there. Matt Kenseth has taken back the lead. Not sure when he did that, but he is back out front. He's taking the lead back from Jimmy Johnson. As we just took the 18th spot away from Brian Vickers. Ooh, boy. <laughs> I was looking at the... Uh, I was looking at the leaderboard. I'm not sure if Kurt Busch just got moved out of the way there, but uh, he sure as heck went up the track. As he goes his way, he works his way to the inside of AJ Allmendinger. Four to go. Four laps to go as we get around AJ Allmendinger. Kurt Busch is working his way around Trevor Bain. Messed up that turn a little bit, but Allmendinger gave us the room. So we're trying to work our way to the inside of Trevor Bain. Can't quite get there. We're going to draft him around turns three and four as we get a run off the turn four. Go to the inside. Looking really good, buddy. Clear up top. Three laps to go. Matt Kenseth out front. Trying to get his first win of the season. Trying to lock himself into the chase and become one of the 16 challengers. And we're just trying to catch up to Kurt Busch in this pack up here. Looks like Josh Wise is up there. The leader is six seconds ahead. Matt Kenseth has checked out. Well, not really. He's got a Good couple go. cars behind him. He's checked out from us anyway. Ooh. Ooh. Well, it looks like a little bit of contact between teammates there, if I'm not, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Tony Stewart and Kurt Busch. Tony Stewart's the boss, Kurt. You might want to be a little bit careful there. <laughs> we work our way to the inside. Car at your door. For Tony okay, Stewart. Car at your door. White flag is out. Car One car to go. Car. For Matt Kenseth. As we're looking to get inside of Kurt Busch. Can't quite get there. We're going to go around the bottom all the way through turns one and two. Trying to get inside of Alec Almarola. Like we said today, nice and smooth. Stay focused. Clear Matt high. Kenseth. Coming off turn four. Here comes a new challenger. Matt Kenseth will Coming win outside. the Go Bowling 400 outside. here at Kenseth. And we will come home 13th. Good race today. We collect some good points. <laughs> A little beating and banging with Kurt Busch there. How about that? Good, strong, confident driving out there, buddy. Top 20 is more than respected. Yeah, not bad. Not, not bad. Um, kind of makes you wonder what would happen with more laps, but, you know, it is what it is. So let's go ahead and look up the race results. Matt Kenseth is your race winner who also he led 30 laps of this race. And he has logged the fastest lap of the race. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. comes in second. Jimmy Johnson in third. Dale Earnhardt Jr. in fourth. Jeff Gordon in fifth. Joey Logano in sixth. Brad Keselowski in seventh. Eighth is Casey Kane. Ninth is Kyle Busch. And rounding out the top ten is my buddy Austin Dillon. And we're going to go ahead and give you the rest of the rundown of the field. You can figure out where your favorite driver is. Obviously, we finished 13th. And, uh, yeah, so not a bad race.
all in all just like there's a lot of there's a lot of this tur this track is just really slippery it's really slippery and i found out like really quick my car is pretty much made for shorter runs but you know just is what it is uh let's see yeah, ryan blaney last year's last week's winner finished 28th uh, we got danica patrick back in 35th and that's pretty much it and Josh Wise will round out the field. So I'm curious to see who actually, let's see how many cars finished on the lead lap. A lot of cars two laps down, a lot of cars one lap down. Um, okay, Bobby Labonte is actually the last car to lead lap. So 32 cars finish on the lead lap. Not a bad showing. Okay guys, so here are the point standings for the challengers. We are still in the points lead with three wins, seven poles and eight top tens with 380 points. And we are over uh, Kurt Busch of Stuart Haas Racing with five top tens. He's in second. Tony Stewart, Stuart Haas teammate, seven top tens in third. Jeff Gordon of Hendrick Motorsports Racing with ten top, uh, uh, ten top, six top tens in fourth place. Fifth, uh, Hendrick Motorsports teammate Dale Hart Jr., one win and seven top tens. Hendrick Motorsports teammate Jimmy Johnson with six top tens and six. Greg Biffle of Roush Fenway Racing with two wins, one pole, and three top tens in seventh. Brad Kozlowski of Team Penske with four top tens in eighth. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. of Roush Fenway Racing, Roush Fenway teammate, six top tens in the ninth place. Martin Truex Jr. with one win and ten top tens for Furniture Row Racing in tenth place. Joe Gibbs Racing's Carl Edwards in eleventh with one pole and three top tens. 12th is Danny Hamlin, Joe Gibbs' teammate. Uh, in 12th place, ten, uh, three top tens. Matt Kenseth, another Joe Gibbs racing teammate. One win today and uh, one pole and five top tens. And finishing out the Joe Gibbs field is Kyle Busch with one win and three top tens in 14th. And A.J. Allmendinger and three top tens, but I don't think he's in. I uh, don't think he's in. I believe these spots will go to Jamie McMurray and Ryan Blaney. Jamie McMurray of Chip Ganassi Racing, one win, two top tens. And Ryan Blaney of the Wood Brothers Racing with one win and two top tens. So they're both kind of equal in stats right now. But um, these guys will take over 15th and 16th, knocking out A.J. Allmendinger and Kevin Harvick for the challengers. So, not bad. <laughs> not bad. I was hoping for a better showing. I was hoping for another win, but I don't think uh, I don't think that would have happened. <laughs> uh, last last time we kind of got lucky with a caution, and that caution allowed us to be up really, really close towards the front, and we were able to make a big run and get the win the last time we were here. However, that wasn't the case this time around. We only had the one caution, and we probably, we, the, the one, I believe the contact with Regan Smith really cost us that little incident because he was hanging, like I said, he hung on our, our left, our right rear and just kind of turned us into the outside wall, and it looked like he was kind of upset with us because he was kind of chasing us down for a while. Um, and well, it was after I gave him, after I moved him out of the way, but. And then, you know, there was the contact with McMurray, but like I said, I was already sideways before he even got to me. So, it's just, it just is what it is. Um, all in all, not bad racing. Not, excuse me, not bad racing. Not a bad race for us, just um, wasn't able to capitalize. This is still a track that I have to learn quite a bit. So, like I said, if you have any setup ideas or anything, like, I'm, I'm, I won't lie, I'm an idiot when it comes to car setups. That's why I use Delta Force Racing. They have really, really good setups. Like, some, some tracks, the car will literally just drive itself. For the most part, it handles so well. Even if it's not, like, a winning car, it still just handles so well to where, like, you could pretty much put the car anywhere you want. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm an idiot when it comes to setups. Let me know what uh you know if you have any ideas how you know if you have any experience with kansas let me know in the comments below and like i said i do these races every sunday 
and the next race will be at Charlotte Motor Speedway for the All-Star Race and then the Coke 600 the weekend after that. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at Charlotte Motor Speedway.